Hey Yogi, welcome on into this practice. In today's class, I will guide you through a full body flow. The sequence is super fun and energetic. We'll be using our whole body moving up and down the mat. I can't wait to get started with you. If you like to practice with any props, maybe two blocks, grab them and then we'll meet up in a hip opening child's pose at the back of the mat. Coming into child's pose, take the knees as wide as your flexibility allows. Sit heavy towards the heels. Don't worry if the bum doesn't reach all the way. And then one by one, we'll tiptoe our hands all the way forward to the very top of our space. Lowering the head down towards the ear. And just let the third eye press against the mat. Feeling the skin on the forehead gently crease towards the nose. Stay nice and soft in your breathing. Enabling yourself to arrive here and to be guided by the breath. On the next inhalation, root down through the tips of the fingers so that the arms start to activate and then maybe the forearms, the upper arms lift away from the mat. Send the gaze forwards towards the fingertips. Feel the hips draw back with the heart draw forwards. As you exhale, tip to your hands all the way over towards the right side of your space. So maybe the right hand can go flat and the left hand drops on top and the head bows down in between both arms. Sit in the left hip heavy towards the left heel. And then feel a nice stretch through left side body. Take a full breath in here and a nice deep breath out. And use that next inhale to tiptoe all the way back through centre. Take a breath and then all the way over towards the left as you take a breath out. So this time left hand lowers, right hand goes on top and then the head bows down. Again, big breath in through right side body, big breath out through the nose. Use your inhale to bring you all the way back through the front and centre of your space. Take a breath out here. As you root down into your palms, you're just going to lift up into your tabletop just so that we can scooch our knees back in towards hips distance and then sit back towards child's pose again. Take a breath out. Keep the gaze down and the hands rooted. And on your next inhale, we need to start to lift bum away from heels. Keep around. So flexion in your spine. Shifting forward to the shoulder stack on top of the wrist. And then as you exhale, lift the hips high, lift the gaze high, create an arch through spine. Coming through to cow and sit back into child's. Again, inhale, gaze down, round forwards. Exhale, hips up, glide back. Inhale. And exhale. Take a big breath in. And again, exhale. Sit the bum back towards the heels. Start to walk your hands just in front of your kneecap. So just shorten the distance from tabletop. Spread the fingers wide, grip the ground. And then start to lift the bum away from your heels. So options here, you can have your toes untucked just as I am. Or if it's too much in your feet, you can always tuck your toes under. And the next inhale breath, we need to really root down through the palms, draw the belly in. So maybe this is enough for you. If you can, perhaps your kneecaps can lift and just hover off of the mat. Engage in the body for five, four, three, two, and on one. Exhale, knees, shins down. Sit the bum back to come into a kneeling posture. Take the fingertips behind the feet. If you can't reach the mat, you can always use blocks if you've got them handy. Draw the shoulders in, lift the heart up, lift the gaze, options to keep the bum rooted or maybe lift the bum, the hips up high to come into a bit of a camel-like pose. Head can drop back again, breathing into that space of five, four, three, two and one. Exhale, bum down, gaze is forward to come into child's pose, forehead kisses the moon, shoulders soft. Lift the forehead, walk the hands back. Root the palms down, same thing. Really grip the ground. Lift the bum away from the heels. Press down through the tops of the toes. Maybe kneecaps can lift. Remember, if it's too much, you can always flip your toes over. If you want even more, see if you can start to straighten the arms and the legs for five, four. Think of it like a forward fold, belly in. Three, two, and one, knees down as you breathe out, sit the bum back, take the fingers wide, lift the heart, draw the shoulders in, and then maybe hips lift. So engage the glutes and the inner thighs, head back, five, 
breathing into that heart space four three two and one exhale hips down gaze forwards hands down forehead down blast in a child's pose and we'll go for one more so walk those hands back grip the ground straight in the arms lift the hips maybe lift the kneecaps maybe straighten out the legs five four three and cage through that core two and one, exhale, knees down, shins down, fingers round, heart lift, shoulders scoop the heart, lift the hips if it's an option, five, four, three, two, and one, as you exhale, hips slide down, arms reach forwards, take an inhale breath, so think of coming into tabletop, kill the toes, and then just body on your way into down with face and dark. So you might need to do a bit of readjusting, maybe walk the hands forwards. So completely up to you what you want to do in this down dog, whether you want to wiggle, whether you want to move, or stillness is what the body wants. Anything that enables you to drop into this moment, to connect, just really beginning to listen to our bodies and to speak to all of our layers. On the next inhale, breath will glide forwards like a wave through to high plank. Lift the heels, shift. And as you exhale, come through Chaturanga. If you like to drop the knees and modify, go for that. As you inhale, lift up Cobra or up Dog. And as you exhale, glide back down with Dog. Look to the thighs. We'll go for that another round. So inhale, roll forwards. From Sadhusanasana, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale and tuck the toes, lift up, up dog, cobra. Exhale to down facing dog. As you send the gaze forward, we'll lift the heels high and then just walk the feet, tiptoe in through towards with the nasana. So forward fold, go ahead and take a rag down. So I like to grab a hold of opposite elbow with opposite hand, using my arms as a weight to encourage my torso and my head to ground. Even weight distributed through the feet, start to take a couple of sways. And then move the body up and down. And then the head, yes. Release the grip of the elbows. The fingers drip heavy to the mat. Knees softly bent. And then use your inhalation just to round and roll. And peel your way all the way up through towards standing posture. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. Take a big breath out. As you inhale, take the arms wide. And then reach them high into a past and belly in. As you exhale, arms wide, heart down, come through to Uttanasana, deep fold. Legs can be softly bent if needed. Halfway lift, come into Ardha Uttanasana, gaze is forward, spine is nice and long. Bend the knees, stepping back as you root down for your palms, step back with your feet, coming through to Chaturanga again, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, lift the heart, pump the chest. Exhale, come through to downward dog. From downward dog, go ahead and shoot your right leg up to the sky. Come through to three like a dog. Point the toes. And as you exhale, bring right knee towards the nose. Get high up on the back toes. Puff up the back of the heart. Take a big breath. And as you exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Lower the back left kneecap. Untuck the back toes. Bring one hand towards the right knee and thigh and then the other. Lift up for your heart. Again, shoulders back. As you exhale, see if you can lunge forward. So all the weight presses down through the right heel and the right hip draws back. Take another inhale, reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, bring your thumbs towards your temples and then the fingertips towards the sides of the head. Take an inhale, twist the heart towards the right. Right elbow draws back, left elbow draws forward. And as you exhale, dip right elbow down, left elbow up. Imagine you want your right elbow to touch your left heel. Take an inhale, come back to your center, still twisting over to the right. As you exhale, go the other way, so left elbow down and the right elbow up. Maybe the elbow can hover, maybe touch the mat. Take another inhale, lift up through heart. Spread your wings, left arm forwards, right arm back, open arms. As you exhale, left hand down, again, right arm up. So just stretch out through the right fingers and draw the shoulders along the back. This time, curl the left toes, lift the left kneecap. 
And on the next inhale, see if you can get lighter on the left fingertips. Reach taller through the right arm. Take an exhale here. Pull the left hip back so it doesn't slip down too much. And as you inhale, maybe again, even lighter so the left fingers can even float. And perhaps peel your way up into crescent, deep lunge in the right knee. Gaze is over the right shoulder if you can. Take an exhale here. As you inhale, start to reach forwards with your left fingers and then gaze in the direction of the left thumb. As you exhale, right arm reaches forwards as well. Maybe finding a e full eagle bind or opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Push off the right toes, take an inhale breath. Come into warrior three. Reach forwards to the crown and back through the toes. Take an exhale and as you inhale, lift the left kneecap towards the chest. And the next exhale, we're going to find a full eagle bind with the legs. So big toe can be down or maybe just outside the calf or all the way around the back of the calf. As you inhale, forearms away from face, fan into the shoulders. And as you exhale, deep lunge in the right knee, root down through the right heel. Feeling on the stretch across the shoulders and also the outside of the hips. Lovely from here. Stay connected with the right foot. Stay binded to the arms. Use your inhale to unravel the left leg. So the left leg will reach back and the crown will reach forwards. If this feels steady, stay as you are in the bind. If it's too much, hands down or onto blocks. As you exhale, come and bring the left knee to tap the back of the right calf. Again, inhale, re-extend, left toes back, crown forwards. Again, exhale, left knee taps the back of the calf. Inhale, we'll go for one more. Steady with the breath, exhale. And inhale. Lovely. So from warrior three, as you exhale, we're going to come down into other matsi and that's nice. So a little bit of a twist. This is a tricky transition. Left knee comes just outside of the right, outside of the right um, ankle, and the bum places down. If it wasn't as smooth as that, don't worry about it. We're going to release the bind. So right hand comes behind the back of the right hip, and the left elbow either comes around or outside if you've got a deep twist. If it's too much of a twist, extend this left leg so it doesn't have to be, the knee doesn't have to be bent. Take an inhale breath, lift up and out the waist. And as you exhale, peel your gaze over your right shoulder. Make sure both sit bones are down on the mat. Inhale. And then again, exhale, deepen the twist. And we'll go for one more. Breathe in and breathe out. Lovely gaze goes forwards, hands to the prayer. Remember, you can always use your hands. They're going to come out without the same way as you came in. So push your weight forwards into the right foot. Bum lifts. Eventually take the left leg wide and then around into warrior three. Take a big breath in and take a big breath out. Bend the right knee, drop the left toes. Take an inhale breath, rise up into full and yasana, so crest and pose. And as you exhale, settle into the shape, pull the left heel back. Take an inhale, drop the back heel, arms away, fingertips reach in opposite direction, shoulders relax along the back. And as you exhale, bring the right toes in, turn the left toes out, sit down into Skandasana. Take an inhale, push back into Warrior Two. Take an exhale here. Lovely. On the next inhale, straighten through the right leg, bring the arms up. Interlace the fingers above the top of the head, bring all ten toes in to begin with, and then flip them out. And as you exhale, sit down into goddess pose, draw the pelvic floor up. Okay, lovely. From here, pop onto the right tippy toes, take a breath in. And as you exhale, pivot on the right toes, so right toes point towards the back. Take an exhale, lunge into the left knee. Take an inhale, straighten through the back leg. And as you exhale, stagger both knees, so right knee dips, but doesn't drop all the way. And then again, inhale, straighten through the leg. As you exhale, drop the back heel, sink into goddess squat. Take an inhale, come onto the ball of the right foot, right heel lift. And as you exhale, pivot on the right toes, face towards the back of your space. Take an inhale, get long in the back side of the right leg, right heel presses back. And as you exhale, right knee bends, maybe tap. Take an inhale, lift up. And again, exhale, sit down, deep goddess squat. We'll go for one more, so breath in, heel lifts. Breath out, pivot. Inhale, get long. And on this exhale, we come all the way down into low lunge, face into the back. Go ahead and interlace all 10 fingers and then place the palms over the top of the left kneecap. As you inhale, press away from the front left knee. And as you exhale, lunge forwards, right hip flexor drops. Bring your both hands towards the hips. Draw the shoulders in, elbows in also. Take an inhale breath. 
This time as we exhale, we're gonna pull the hips back and come through to half split. So left heel down, left toes up. Take your time to descend and drape heart over thigh. Taking two more breaths just to feel that sensation, feel the goodness, the stretch on the back of the left hamstring. Lovely, as we inhale, lift the heart. And as we exhale, lunge back into your left knee. Take your right hand wide, so either towards the right corner of the mat. Left hand can also come to the left corner of the mat. If you're steady in your standard splits and you like to go deep right away, grab for the back of your left ankle. Lift the right kneecap away from the mat on the inhale. Get rooted through the left foot. And then nice and slowly, we're going to come to raise our right leg up. And then drive our head down into standard splits. Take a full breath in here. And a full breath out. As you inhale, flex through the right foot and just back off a minute. And as you exhale, bend the left knee, drop the right toes, drop the right heel to so back foot to the 45. And then start to open up the arms into reverse warrior. Right toes can move out a little wider. Lovely. Sink down as you exhale. As you inhale, keep everything the same, just straighten through the left leg to come into reverse triangle. And again, take a breath out here. Keep the left leg straight as you inhale, arms reach up. Head in line with heart. And as you exhale, left toes move in and right toes move forward. So we're now facing towards the front of our space. If you feel like the feet are too far apart, just step the left foot in just a touch. And as we exhale, come to find a twisted triangle. So maybe left hand to left thigh, shin, a block, or the mat. So the aim is to stay nice and long through the arms. Stay open with the chest. One more breath in. One more breath out. Transition and stay with this twist. Just bend the right knee and lift the left heel. Left fingertips reach forward. So onto the tips of the fingers. Push all the weight into the right foot. Make sure the left big toe points down and the right hip draws up. One more breath. Nice. One more breath out. Right hand down. Big step back. And then we'll clean that with a chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Make your way back into downward dog. Gaze to the thighs of the belly button. Big breath out. On the next inhale, reach the left leg high, point the toes up. And as you exhale, drive in, tag a care, left knee towards the chest. Again, puff up the back of the heart, nice and round, take a big breath. And as you exhale, left foot steps in between the hands, right knee cap drops. Use the inhale breath to lift up into Anjani Asana, so low lunge. Make sure the left knee doesn't surpass the left ankle. And as you exhale, send the weight forward, so right hip drops. Take another inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, bring the thumbs to the temples, fingertips to the sides of the head. Use your inhale to twist, this time towards the left. Left elbow pulls back, right elbow reaches forward. And then exhale, lean back. Left elbow down, right elbow up. Lovely, inhale, come back, stay twisted. As you exhale, right elbow down, left elbow up, inside of the left knee. So you can inhale, big push, use the strength. Open up the arms. Lovely. Right arm forwards, left arm back. As you exhale, right hand down, left arm up. Open twist towards the left. See if you can gaze to the left thumb. Take a big breath, stretch out through the arms. Take a big breath out, draw the shoulders along the back. So we're going to make that a little bit more active. We'll curl the back right toes, pop the back right kneecap, stay rooted through the left foot. Again, big inhale. Maybe the fingers start to get lighter on the right side. Maybe they even start to float. So just relying on core strength and leg strength. And then peel it all the way up into full twisted uh, crescent. Exhale. Lunge forward to the left knee. Reach forward through the right arm. Take an inhale. And then gaze towards that right thumb. Like look driving for someone's hand trying to grab onto it as you exhale come to find an eagle bind left arm under right or opposite hand opposite shoulder all the weight through the left foot push off the right toes take an inhale come into warrior three nice and slow find your center and then we'll come into shiva squat in a minute so inhale right knee lifts up get tall and as you exhale, right leg around the left, maybe big toe down, or just around the back of the calf. Lovely, sink into that, feel the hip stretch, feel the shoulders flare, fingers away from face, inhale. Again, a little bit deeper, 
exhale wonderful left foot stays rooted arms stay wrapped use the inhale to come back out of that so heart forwards leg back now we'll visit those shiva squats if it's too much release the bind in the arms left knee bends right knee taps the back of the, the left calf inhale get long through the right leg again exhale to tap get nice and low inhale reach long and again exhale tap we'll go for one more big breath and one more big breath out. Amazing, guys. Super steady. Not easy. Right leg goes back. Breathe in. Left knee bends. We'll come to find a twist. Remember, you can release the bind if it's too much. Perhaps right knee steps down. Bum plunks down. And then release the bind. Right elbow wraps around all outside of your left thigh or knee. Both sits going So both bum cheeks in contact with the mat. And then use your exhale to twist back. Big breath, lengthen through back body. And big breath out, gaze beyond the left shoulder. Inhale, welcome love, welcome energy. Exhale, cleanse that out. One more big breath in. And one more release. Wonderful, gaze towards the front. And the hands either towards the heart or towards the mat. We're going to push back up. Come straight back into warrior three. Again, another tricky transition. Take a big breath and a big breath out. Lovely left knee bends, right toes connect. Exhale, rise up, full crescent pose. Arms reach the sky, hips settle, breathe out. Inhale, back heel drops, arms open wide, shoulders relax along the back. Exhale here. Push off the left foot, turn the right toes out, sink down into Skandasana, take an inhale, and then push back up. Settle into warrior two, take a breath out. As you inhale, straighten through the left leg, fingers interlaced into Kali Mudra around the top of the head, turn all 10 toes in, and then flip them out. Okay, use the exhale to get low. Engage the thighs into goddess squat. As you inhale, onto the left tippy toes, left heel pops. As you exhale, pivot to the left hip points towards the back of your space. So you can inhale, get long through the back side of the left leg, press the heel back. Keep lunging through the right knee and then stagger the knees. As you exhale, left knee hovers or taps. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, bend the knees, sit into goddess. Inhale, left heel lifts. Exhale, left toes pivot back. Inhale, get long through the back leg. And again, exhale, tap. One more, you've got this, breathe in. Breathe out, heel down, hips low. <sighs> inhale, heel up. Exhale, face the back. Inhale, get long. And then exhale, both knees bend, slowly bring it down, so we're facing back again. Interlace the fingers, place the palms over the top of the right knee, couple thigh. Roll the shoulders down the back, breathe in. And then press the hips forwards, breathe out. <sighs> Hands now come towards the hips, square the hips, physically use the hands to adjust. Inhale, and as we exhale, pull the hips back, come through to Adha Hanumanasana, so heart split. Nice and slow, heart drapes over the thigh. Shoulders still pinched towards the center of the back. Nice. Just one more breath here. Take it easy, using that balance as well. Wonderful, inhale, come back up. Exhale, recommit, relunge, right big toe roots. So options coming in to prepare for standing splits. Fingertips can go wide, but help with that extra stability and support. Back kneecap lifts. Again, if you're nice and secure and you like to go deep, right hand grips the back of the right ankle. Keep the gaze down, keep the right foot rooted. Use your next inhale breath to fully straighten left leg to the sky, head down. Really not worrying about how deep we are in the pose, just going to that feel good place. Wonderful, take one more breath in, and one more breath out. Back off as you inhale, almost coming into a bit of an L shape, so more like a warrior three, right, left foot is flexed. Right knee bends, left toes, left heel connect on the exhale. And as you inhale, open the arms into Vibhadrasana B, left toes turn out, more like a 90 degree. Sink through the front right knee calf. Okay, inhale, flip the right palm, reach all the way up and over, come through to that exhale. And take a breath out here. Keep everything the same, just straighten through the right leg. Get long through the right side of the body, breathe in. And again, breathe out. Hug the feet in, arms up, big breath. Now turn the right toes in and the left toes forwards as you exhale. Again, if you feel like you're able to do the splits, little step in with the back foot. 
coming into twisted trikonasana hand to the side to the shin or in a block so you let go of that ego if you feel like you're really caving in then just come a little higher up always asking yourself why are we doing the pose what do we want to get out of it not to get as close to the mat as possible and rather to experience all the benefits gaze forward lunge into the left knee reach forward with the right hand coming through to the balance in other tandrasana with a twist right foot lifts keep the foot flex keep engagement by pressing back through the heel and engaging through right bum cheek and again shoulders slide along the back take one more big breath and one more big breath out both hands down left knee bends right toes right left toes step back take an inhale and then come through chaturanga lower down breathe in pump your heart up and this time as we breathe out we'll come into a well-deserved child's pose just for a breath or two forehead kisses the mat just let your energy settle become internal for a moment and just ignore acknowledging all of those sweet sensations all of those feelings and vibrations that surge through the body Mm, lovely shifting forwards back into tabletop take the knees back we're going to come into a modified chaturanga so slowly bring it all the way down to the belly <sighs> keep the feet separated about hips distance big toes grip the ground interlace the fingers behind the lower back preparing for locust pose draw the shoulders in and back so engage to your upper back knuckles move away from the lower back and as you inhale see so we can charge through the legs to so lift the heart and the legs spike down through the pubic bone for five little higher with the heart, a little higher with the legs, four, three, two, and then one, exhale, drop everything, cheek or forehead to the mat, heart is reset. <sighs> Lovely, we'll go for that another time, interlace the fingers, get the shoulders in and the heart lifts up, and charge up all your batteries lift the heart lift the legs five four three two and one exhale let that go arriving into sphinx pose so you lift up onto the forearms as you prop up onto the forearms, try your best to get elbows underneath shoulder points and hands in line with elbows. If it's too much on low back, always an option to walk your hands a little further forwards. So and then keep with that action of sliding the elbows towards the back of the mat or imagine you want to move in that direction and then driving the heart forwards. And then just allow the shoulders to gently press away from the ears as the crown lengthens up. Regulating your breathing, slowing the breath, listening to what the heart wants. Options to go a little deeper by pressing through palms and straightening through your arms. And again, you determine the intensity, so walk it further forwards if it's too much or closer to the hips. Just making sure we're not hunching, so actively press through palms and shoulders drop. Wonderful. Forearms back down to the mat. Breathe out. And then we're going to move. So kill the toes, lift the hips, and then just shift back to come into puppy pose. So hips back on top of knees, heart or forehead towards the earth. So you might need to do a little bit of readjusting. If you like to go quite deep and you feel like you slip off the mat, sometimes I like to grab the end of my mat just to keep me where I'm meant to be. And then close down your eyes. Noticing the opening, the sensation in the entire front central region of the body. Really great one for shoulders as well. Try to resist the edge to fight back and instead move with that sensation. 
becoming available and open to every emotion. Lovely, slowly rise out to lift the heart. Tip to your hands back. Cross your legs and sit bone back to heels. We're coming to Baddha Konasana. So maybe moving forward just a little bit. Keep the knees bent and then allow the knees to flop out wide. So nice little hip opener to you finishes off before we come towards the end of practice. So your fingers interlace and then grip either around the toes. If you can't reach them, grab a hold of your ankles or alternatively your shins. Ground down through the sit bones, lift up through your crown, take a big breath. As you exhale, feel your heart pull forwards and your elbows draw into the green. Take an inhale breath, a little halfway, see if you can stretch and reach the crown further forwards, maybe get a little bit longer. And again, exhale, come down. So as we breathe here, imagine that your pelvis and that your sternum, your heart are moving in opposite directions. So your heart continues to reach towards the front, hips continue, continue to draw towards the back. Wonderful rise out of that on the next breath. Closing the knees together on the exhale. Keep your right knee bent, but step the left heel down. Walk the right foot a little higher up the inner side of the left thigh. Hook and left elbow around or outside of the right knee and thigh. Right fingers, right shoulder point back. So the heart's not trying to face to the back of our space. Take a breath in to lengthen and a breath out to twist back. Take a couple more breaths on your own. Stay grounded through the left heel and flex through the left toes. I always like to finish my practice off with a gentle twist, really great way to release any residual built up tension. Wonderful gaze to the front of your space, root down through the right heel, bend through the left knee, and then we'll take the same twist just in the other direction. Lift up and out the waist, take a big breath, and then peel your gaze back, breathe out. Make sure the right bum cheek doesn't lift. So firmly rooted down with both bum cheeks. Inhales to lengthen, exhales to twist. Beautiful, inhale, gaze to the front. Straighten through the legs, reach the arms forwards. And as you exhale, rolling onto the back, come in. You guessed it, into Shavasana. And just take any little movements or wriggles to help you get into your nice comfortable space. Stretch the arms wide, have the palms to face up and head to root down. And we'll take a final cleanse. Deep breath into the belly, through the nose. Open the mouth wide and let that go. And just let everything come and turn. Stay relishing in all of the juiciness and remember that the relishing can really happen when we loosen our grip or interpretations or assumptions and just let ourselves be like floating on a cloud and take away all of the inner pressure, all of the strain so that all of the juices can continue to flow. Allow yourself to stay here and really indulge.